with all the odds that Carl Hayden high school students go to, they don't make a lot of money, their parents do. I think they're pretty, probably a pretty high dropout rate. How come Carl Hayden can win this prestigious thing when other schools can't do it? Well, you always hear people say that it's not the money, it's not the, it's not the resources you have, it's, it's the passion and the desire. If you want to be able to do something, you figure out how to do it. We convince the kids that that's true, and it is true, because here we are, it's proof that you can do it if you really put your mind to it. So it's a matter of teaching them how to use what they do have and how to get along and be successful no matter what their resources are. Be creative in trying to figure out how to solve the problem. They just can't do it like the other schools do. Um, you've come close a bunch of times. Or, or was it last year before you came to Canada and they decided not to go because you didn't want to ask people or couldn't? Well, that's a slightly different competition. That's the main National Underwater Robotics Competition. And the fourth year that we were going to do it, they moved that event to Canada. We decided, along with other people in the community, Arizona State, we decided to host our own underwater competition here which we hold in June, and our second annual. We had nine teams last year. Just to show you how successful it is, this year we have 24 teams coming from Ember-Riddle, ASU, nine grade schools and nine high schools, and the furthest schools coming from Oregon. That's how successful our program has been. How proud are you of these kids? Extremely proud. I mean, there's, there's nothing more rewarding than to see kids believe what you tell them and then go out and grab it with both hands and take it all the way beyond everyone, including their own expectations. Anything else you'll add? Uh, I think that this win is very significant for Arizona. One of our goals and the missions of, of, of a lot of high schools, but we were kind of primarily the lead one, is to bring the attention of science and technology education, or the STEM activities, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, to the forefront of Arizona. And by bringing this award to Arizona, people are going to start paying attention to Arizona. Good job. Bye -bye.